The Scottish Exhibition Centre reverberating to the chance nice of the right Burns hand. fans, and that was a really quality right hand. And again. Kevin Mitchell at the moment is being outboxed. Oh, great oh. shot! What a tremendous left hook! A great shot! And Ricky Burns has put Mitchell down in this fourth round. And the referee's having a close look at him, asking him to walk forward. The action continues, and Burns lands another tremendous right hand. He's gone again, and it's going to be all over this fight. Twice down. The referee this time will want to look so very, very closely into the eyes of Kevin Mitchell. It goes on again. Two knockdowns, still 20 seconds remaining. Big left hand. He could go again and again. Huge punches coming in from Burns, but Mitchell might see it. Ten Huge seconds to go, round. John. Ten seconds to go. Mitchell needs to hold him. And it's all over. It is all over in the fourth round. of Gavin Gonzalez, the first seven rounds, I didn't, I gave him six of them, so maybe Ricky will need a stoppage, I have him, he has to win everything from here on in, and he's going about it the right way. And Gonzalez, almost throwing nothing back now, finally finds a response, but when he does he gets caught with the counters, and this is starting to look a little bit, a bit better now for Ricky Burns. shown a tremendous will to win, a tremendous desire. It's not about tactics now, it's just about digging it out of yourself. But can he put this fella on the floor? You sense he needs a knockdown to get right back in this, because all those early rounds are going to stand Gonzalez in very good. Burns has got to make a deal in this fella, and he's, he's just sitting on his stool, the towel's still there. What an extraordinary night! defence. So you've got to open them up round the sides and up the middle. Thanks very much, Alex. There's the blueprint. Not sure the Rocco's got the skill set to follow it up. Here we are, round eight. Oh, solid right hand. The Rocco absorbs it again. He's got a chin. Yep, I just about to say that. Like, I'm amazed how many clean shots. Uh, Burns has landed with a right hand, even a good solid jab, and he's straight back in again. Well, his that, well, that one's made him back off. His Maybe defense, just for a leaf, I think. His defences were leaky as anything in the early rounds. They're getting worse. I wonder if his legs gave a little dance there. Yep, I think he's struggling at the moment, Garoppo. Yeah, he's looking for a breather. Yeah, well, we've seen it a couple of times earlier. And he's been shaken up and he's managed to regroup, and there he is now by a couple of right hands. In his own corner, being bullied. Again, oh, one of those crude swinging roundhouse rights that just don't do anything and burns, just, just dazzling. Yeah, this is a fight that's not doing the uh, Dorocco any good whatsoever. He's getting caught so often, so cleanly. At the age of 44, and after a long career, 
I mean, uh, this is the kind of fight, a lot of punishment that could get you thinking about retirement. I mean, look, he can't miss. This is a punishing night of the Rocco. He's brave, but he's taken a lot of punishment. He really is. And what about the people who said Ricky Burns is washed up? Does this look like a washed up fighter to you? He's battering this man. Terry O'Connor having a good look. Down he goes again. Just bludgeoned to the floor by Ricky Burns. A look of despair at his corner then. He's got absolutely nothing left. This is over. This is over. Done. Just overwhelmed him, didn't he? Yeah, but he just had no answer to anything that was coming towards him. He was being caught far too up. I'm glad because just before the finish, I was saying this is a punishing fight for him. This is a fight that it's not easy to recover from because he was taking too many punches. He was taking them well. He was walking through them. But it, it, could, it became a little bit sickening towards the end. And I didn't want to see this going on too much longer. But thankfully, yeah, Ricky got the job done. Because that was when he looked down to the corner. That was him virtually saying... Time to surrender, I've got nothing left. Can't match this fellow, can't stand here any longer. And it wasn't a big punch that put him down, it was just exhaustion and the accumulation of everything that he'd taken in every one of the rounds. Look at the legs. The legs are, yeah, it's the, the fight has been knocked out of him. The former flyweight world champion. It looks like he's starting to pop. Former super bantamweight world champion. And former featherweight world champion. Ferreira's corner man is up on the apron. Former super featherweight world champion. He's back and forth from this right here. Down goes Parker. Former lightweight world champion. How many more? Former light welterweight, world champion. Fighting pride of the Philippines, eight time world champion, Manny Pacman. Good left and right by Manny Pacquiao. Oh, good oh, move by Manny Pacquiao to the face. Got him flush at the right side of the head. He's down, and I don't think he's going to get up. He doesn't look too good. He's slowly trying to get up. He is counted out. Back and that left hand rocks Shashiko. Did he just glance at the official as well? I think he's in a spot above a hit. He looks like he's starting to puff a little bit and down he goes. Well, there was a cracking body shot in amongst the barrage of blows. That did for him. And I don't think he's going to get up here. He is flat out with nowhere to go. The champion on home soil is battered up. He's down. He's out. It's over. There's no need to make the count. Manny.
Of course, Chong Kwon Chai did not come to the Philippines to lose this fight. And then he's going to the body to slow down the stuff on the... Now it's Chong Kwon Chai. Who put it in the second one? And... Oh! Ever. Yeah, I was still trying to... Oh! Look at it, 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 Si Wet ya sakmok lang. Ini still back pedaling. Kita tahu siapa. Oh, takut, takut. Kita akan cari. Kita tunggu. Ada miring lagi. Lemu dulu. Grabi untuk mana itu, nak? Ledwaba right now. The eyes of Ledwaba. Yeah, and Joe Cortez has seen enough. That's a TKO victory for the very impressive Manny Pacquiao. pound world champion Manny Pacquiao of the Philippines taking on Emmanuel Lucero originally from Mexico City he's lived in the Bronx since 19 laps is supposed to go below your opponent's waistline which he's doing on a few occasions now Pacquiao straightens him up with a left hand and Pacquiao pins him against the ropes Lucero trying to duck everything he's ducking but he can't operate too effective himself from down there no, there's, it's impossible to mount a counter offense when, when Lucero was supremely confident in his discussion. Pacquiao taking advantage of a slow break at the end of that clinch to hit Lucero with a left hand over the top. Seems to have momentarily stunned Lucero. Now Pacquiao tries to continue. Body shot by Pacquiao and a big left hand. Again with the body. Lucero just taking the punt at his 122-pound fighter. Struggling to make weight. Feeling as though he's in control against Emmanuel Lucero. After that punch, good punch. with a punch that landed right on the point of the draw. Jose Copian taking no chances whatsoever. No count. Immediate knockout. Who didn't really know who Manny Pacquiao was or what his 
circumstances might be against Marco Antonio Barrera. Now they know. I wouldn't send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because that guy is not backing off. If you have a guy that was He's holding him hurt. Up, Here comes guys. Barrera's corner. Barrera's corner, man, is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Finally. They could have done that two rounds ago. A superstar emerges in San Antonio. Gennaro, you know, we're both listening, and uh, they've invoked the uh, the family. He's in trouble, and down goes Solis. You know, like it was that lip up with that dropper. Uh, he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. There goes that up again. He's hurt. He's out. Oh, it's it. It's so, over. Solis sent down for the second time. Cinco. He is on the Siete. apron of the ring. Ocho. Nueve. Exciting dream. Let's find the out. Why did so many ringside experts think that the fight wasn't even a credible Big idea? Awesome. Round one was mostly Manny Pacquiao. Round two is even more so. Deloy has not been able to solve Pacquiao's speed, movement, the southpaw style. What is the feeling of a fighter when he's in there with somebody? He's always beating him to the punch. He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. Deloia hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping him. And Manny Pacquiao is annihilating Oscar Deloia. Tony Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money in Oscar Deloia's past, but he's getting beaten up here. One more round, or is that it? Is that it? Right now, you're here in the corner. It's one to stop the fight. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. What's the finish? That's it. Let's go. Right in the right. right. Manny Pacquiao has beaten Oscar Deloy. Follow them to the battle. Nope. Follows the jab with a hook, comes back with another jab. There's the straight left hand, and he landed it right on Hatton's chin. And down goes Hatton after he swings and misses with a left hook. And that's a knockdown for Manny Pacquiao. Very another perfect right hand for Pacquiao. Another right hook. Straight left hand. Pacquiao's landing at Will. Hard left hand. Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's down for the second time. This is the brilliance of the Filipino Sluggers. Oh, oh my gosh, that's great left hand. And will Hatton make it up from this? Can he beat the cat? Is that it? And Kenny Barrow says, no way. That is that. What an amazing knockout shot. That is the 
the most spectacular one punch shot of Manny Pacquiao's incredible career. It is. before most guys can respond. Now Here's Bradley, Bradley coming back. He lands a hard right hand of his own. We got a firefight in round number two. Both guys have landed hard shots. Pacquiao building connect advantages now in both the power punch and overall categories, just as he did in their first fight. Bradley keeps looking to hit old runs. Pacquiao is content to hit numbers. He is controlling this round and seemingly gaining momentum still in the fight. The first fight was good. This fight has been even better. More violent, more intense. It's above the navel. Therefore, that should be a legal shot. Hard left hand by Pacquiao. Stones Algeria. Pacquiao, but he keeps coming. Fires away with the left hand. Algeria goes down for the second time. Round, round 10 or 11. Let him go. Sensational straight left cross right back. And let's see what Algeria has left. He doesn't have much left here, and that hurts more because he's already uh, uh, takes a knee. That's, that's an Algeria method. What does knee. that say about Pacquiao? Where class has told over time against Tim Bradley, now against Algeria. Howard, there's the sixth left down. Still WBO welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pacman. Gavin Gonzalez, the first seven rounds, I didn't, I gave him six of them. 
So maybe Ricky will need a stoppage. I have him, he has to win everything from here on in. And he's going about it the right way. And Gonzalez almost throwing nothing back now. Finally finds a response. But when he does, he gets caught with the counters. And this is starting to look a little bit, a bit better now for Ricky Burns. Burns yet again has shown a tremendous will to win, a tremendous desire. It's not about tactics now, it's just about taking it out of yourself. But can he put this fella on the floor? You sense he needs a knockdown to get right back in this. Because all those early rounds are going to stand Gonzalez in very good. Burns has got to make a deal in this fella, and he's, he's just sitting on his stool, the towel's still there. And he's been he's stopped. Wow, he quit on his stool. What an extraordinary night. Asking him to walk forward, the action continues, and Burns lands another tremendous right hand, he's gone again, and it's going to be all over this fight, twice down, the referee this time will want to look so very, very closely into the eyes of Kevin Mitchell, it goes on again, two knockdowns, still 20 seconds remaining, big left hand, he could go again, and again, Huge punches coming in from Burns, but Mitchell might see it. Ten Mitchell seconds to go, round. John. Ten seconds to go. Mitchell needs to hold him. And it's all over. It is all over in the fourth round. The Scottish Exhibition Centre reverberating to the chance nice of the right Burns hand. fans, and that was a really quality right hand. And again. Kevin Mitchell at the moment is being outboxed. Oh, oh. great shot! What a tremendous left hook! A great shot! And Ricky Burns has put Mitchell down in this fourth round. And the referee's having a close look at him. 